Hey Bible fans, Don here, and this is a Bible I got for this Christmas. Excuse the mess around, I'm trying to edit some video and do some stuff around here. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's cold up here, so my asthma is uh, affecting. We're, we're in the middle of our Arctic snap here in the Northeast. But uh, this is the Bible my wife got me for um, Christmas. It is uh, in this nice little case. It is the ESV Pastor's Bible. It comes in this neat little case. This, as you can tell, is the True Tone Brown. Um, it's got a nice, sturdy bookcase that uh, I really like. I haven't really been keeping it much in it because uh, over the last week I've been writing my sermon and using this Bible, but I wanted to kind of get all this for you to see. The box tells you all some good stuff that it has. Um, they got topics here. The one thing about this Bible is uh, it is done up for pastors by experienced pastors. has um, all sorts of things, simple liturgies, historical creeds, helpful articles, reading plans. Um, gives you kind of outlines for funerals and weddings. So this is a really good, um, good Bible to have. It's actually a good size. Now, you can see here it's got the nine point type. It's got two ribbon markers, uh, daily reading plans, cross references, and it's got the Crossway Lifetime Guarantee. Now this is the Bible, as you can tell, True Tone uh, Brown, paste down liner. <clears throat> it's got the stitching edge, which is really nice. I kind of wanted to just, you know, get into this and kind of use it before um, I gave you the review. Uh, it's got some nice blank pages to uh, write in. My wife gave me a little inscription and I have something there. This isn't a Bible to um, keep. This is, uh, you know, the dedication page, you know, presented to page. It's got marriages and births and adoptions and, of course, deaths. And it's the pastor's Bible. Um, now, the one thing I like about this is this is my first um, 2016 text of the ESV. Um, it was printed in China, but the paper is a good quality paper. It's kind of like this, um, you can still hear some of the guilds still coming there. Uh, that little crinkle of fresh guild, but um, there's not that much bleed through or ghosting through on this. Um, it is close to being line matched. Some of it, uh, if I can find some areas, you can see there's n not really too much line matching in certain areas. This does have the cross references down in the lower part of the page. Um, Nine-point type. It's really readable. <clears throat> but um, my wife got me this because you know I'm I've got my first lead pastorate, and um, even though I've been a pastor for 20 years, uh, in the second seat there's still a lot of stuff I've never done. I've never done a wedding. I've never done a funeral, and so. Um, Trying to find them here. There we are. So, like you have this, you know, a graveside service. And this gives you kind of like the options option one, option two, scriptural reading, um, simple wedding liturgy, you know, just different things that um, you should know. Now, as you can tell, there's the Beatitudes. This is a black letter edition, there's no red letters. So fans of um, 
all black letters, those who do not like the red letters, you will like this. Like I said, a lot of cross-references here. Um, back, let's see. Back. There is some stuff in the back. You will come across um, some stuff over time. Ah, man. This is still very difficult. I'm like, okay, here's one for worship leaders. I'm like, tells the tells them, you know, tells a worship leader, worship pastor, what it means to lead worship. Um, you know, and uh, how the music should go with the pastor's sermon and stuff uh, to to build up. Uh, the case that what the pastor is saying, what the music is saying, both should complement each other. Um, it's kind of a good, good thing. Um, they got public prayers and different things in here. Uh, congregational prayer, just different things that they have. Weddings, funerals, again, just different, um, different things. Um, and then uh, some more pages. That was my sermon notes from today. But um, just some more blank pages at the back. Uh, probably about four or five blank pages to put notes in. So <clears throat> overall, it's a good Bible. It's got these two thin ribbons. Um, I don't know, I might upgrade these. I like these. These actually have a different feel to them. They're not the, the smooth feel that you normally get. This is a very different feel. Um, they are nice. I like them. Again, it's got this um, stitched edge. This is probably about a little over an inch thick. Um... And it's, it's a good sized Bible. It's not like a big study Bible. This is a perfect size Bible for a pastor to use. Here's the side. As you can see, it says Pastor's Bible. Um, this isn't you know, ESV crossway. So it actually only has two ESVs. It has the ESV logo and then says ESV or English Standard Version right there. Um, nothing on the nothing on the cover. It's got a nice cover. Um, definitely definitely going to get some use out of this. Um, Crossway makes a good good cover. This one, as you can tell, a week into it, it's already it's already getting loose. I'm I'm reading a lot out of it. Um, like today. Did James, you know, we're talking about um, resolutions and, you know, uh, went right to about the boasting of tomorrow. And as you can see, I've got this all written down and highlighted. Sorry for those that don't like writing and highlighting in Bibles. I do in mine, especially if it's a Bible I preach out of because uh, it just helps me uh, bring my eyes to where I'm talking and... Um, it just uh, helps me focus on certain words that I want to uh, emphasize to the congregation. But anyway, that's it. Um, it's overall, it's a good book, good quality. Uh, I love this Bible. <clears throat> As you can tell, this is going to be my go-to for the immediate future. Um, this is also, again, uh, one thing I didn't point out, it's double column. I've been using a lot of single column lately. So this is kind of refreshing to go back to a double column. But other than that, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Happy New Year to all out there, and I'll talk to you later. God bless.